Hey guys, welcome to another video. So be honest, are you skipping that intro yet? <laughs> that, you know, the painting a day intro, because I definitely, I definitely skip it every time. You know, in retrospect, I guess a uh, an intro like that is cool for a longer running series where I'm not posting videos every day, but I'm basically skipping the first 23 seconds of every video now. <laughs> and if you are too, that's okay. I don't, I don't blame you. It's not your fault. I guess, you know, didn't really need a whole intro thing for daily videos. It's a little bit crazy. Anyway, um, <laughs> today we are doing a painting. Are you surprised? N nope, me neither. Anyway, we we're doing a painting today and I have decided to break this painting into two separate videos. And the reason for that being was I had this idea in mind for how I wanted this to go and I didn't want to rush it. And it kind of breaks itself down into two pieces anyway, being this circle shape in the back that I'm working on today and the figure himself, which I will be working on tomorrow. And I hope you guys don't mind breaking this down, but I kind of wanted this video to be just a more enjoyable experience that I didn't have to rush through. So today specifically, we're just going to focus on talking about watercolor textures, or rather watching watercolor textures, and um, I hope that you guys will enjoy just kind of watching paint move around. I know it sounds a little bit boring, but to me, for someone who really enjoys watercolors, and I know that some of you guys do too, I really like to watch paint move around and watch things kind of spread into each other and see how colors come together. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. The topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys today and tomorrow, so today I want to talk about the best thing about being an artist, in my opinion, my favorite thing about being an artist, and tomorrow I want to talk about the worst thing about being an artist, so my least favorite thing. And I think that kind of breaking this painting down into two pieces and then talking about those things back to back will be a good way to do it. So my most favorite thing about being an artist, I had so much trouble deciding and I kind of had to pick two things but they go into each other really well. So the first thing that I love about being an artist is the community. And I've talked a little bit about this before, but when I first started getting into art and wanted to share my art and started thinking about making it a career, I was really worried that, ooh, watch this paint dry. <gasps> ooh, so nice. Anyway, I was really worried that it would be super competitive and that I would feel overwhelmed by people who are so much better than me and that I wouldn't feel included and I would just spend all my time trying to catch up. And of course, there is some self-deprecating anxiety that comes with being an artist that that just happens, but I was also amazed by how inclusive everyone is and how much people want to see each other succeed because everybody's been there, you know? Everybody's been the new person who was just starting out and has seen people better than them. So. I love that. I love the fact that the art community, especially with access to the internet, everyone's so supportive and encouraging. My second favorite thing about being an artist is falling in love with a medium. So for me, I have tried a few different things like watercolors and gouache and Copic markers and things like that, but watercolors are always my fallback love, my greatest pleasure as far as creating art goes, and that's kind of why I wanted this video to be a bit more relaxed, and it's all about watercolor textures, and watercolors have just been something that I first started getting into, to be honest, as an easy way to put color on things, and they were affordable to get like student quality paints, so it was an easier medium to get into than like oils, for example, which felt so intimidating, or Copic markers, which seemed so expensive, watercolors seemed like an easy, cost-efficient way to get into colors. And I was kind of blown away once I started to learn about controlling water and mixing colors and the different properties that 
different types of paints have and their pigments, and I'm only just starting to learn about those things. But I was really just kind of blown away by how beautiful this medium is. And I love now seeing how different paints granulate and how some paints will granulate with other colors. Like I have this Undersea Green by Daniel Smith that the texture when it dries, it has these specks of blue in it and quinacridone gold that isn't granulating per se, but it has this beautiful golden color and the way the colors mix with each other, discovering that and discovering how brands vary from one another. It's almost like sometimes it seems like two brands of watercolors might as well, they might as well not both be watercolors because they react so differently from one another. And once you can get past that beginning phase of just laying a flat layer of color down and get into some of the finer intricacies of learning about colors and how they layer on top of each other and how they react with one another, how they activate in a pan and how they mix together on paper, it's a beautiful thing and it's really exciting and I hope that some of you guys can share in that too. So my plan for this piece was kind of to have this sort of stained glass effect in the background and while we do have a figure in the front, I'm planning for this circle area with all these different colors to be the focal point of this piece. I have some interesting plans for the figure himself and I'm really really hoping that I don't totally ruin it because I'm going to be trying something kind of new and I hope it goes well. So I would really love to hear what your favorite things about art are, whether you are an artist yourself or you really like to watch art or whether you don't do watercolors but you have a different medium that you like to use. What's your favorite thing about being an artist? Do you like getting lost in the creation of the art? Does it take you somewhere special mentally or emotionally? Or do you really enjoy talking to other people with art or making art with other people at the same time? What's your favorite thing? Do you like buying new supplies? <laughs> Which is, you know, a slippery slope that I think we all kind of fall into unless you have will of steel in which case I envy you because I <laughs> I definitely struggle with wanting to get new stuff all the time but yeah let me know what's your favorite thing and also what do you anticipate being my least favorite thing about being an artist or what is your least favorite thing I'd really like to hear what you guys think about this I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some of these textures come together. I had a lot of fun working on this today and I didn't want to push myself to do the whole piece in one day. I wanted to kind of just let this part shine and let these textures um, sing for you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to working on the next part tomorrow and I'll see you then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.